hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's photoshop tutorial we'll be transforming this black and white photo into this beautiful color photo so let's get started i have the picture right here in photoshop so the first thing i'll do is i'll duplicate this layer I'll go ahead and click on command or ctrl j on my keyboard to duplicate this layer then i'll just rename this layer model so the first thing i want to do now is give this picture here a skin color i'll go ahead and click on my solid color layer here and then i'll try to search for a color that will match but since i already know the color i want i'll just go in here and type in the color but you could also do a search here to try and see what color suits your image because every skin tone is different okay so i'll be using the color here that i already have which is 9f 6 2 4 1 that's the skin tone i want to use for the model then i'll go ahead and change the blending mode here from normal to color okay then i'll go ahead to the layer mask here okay and then i will inverse it by clicking command or command i on my keyboard okay so now the next thing i want to do is i want to paint that color on the image here and i'll be using my brush to here or i can click on b on my keyboard okay then I will go ahead and zoom in. Then I will increase my brush size by using my shortcut bracket here on the keyboard. Then I will make sure my foreground color here is white so the effect is going to appear on the image. Then I will make sure my opacity here is 100 and my flow is 100 as well. Okay. And I'll go ahead and paint on the picture. And in case you make a mistake by clicking on maybe the eye like this, you can just switch back the foreground color to black by clicking this arrow or clicking X on your keyboard and just paint it back. And then you're going to remove it. So I think this is looking good, but we're still going to do some adjustment to it. Like this eyebrow here, I'm just going to adjust it to make it more realistic. So I'm just going to take out the effects entirely. I'll switch back my background color. Black. And then I'll just paint on the eyebrow. So I'm going to switch it back to white then the next thing I will do is I'll reduce the flow and opacity here. opacity to about 50 and let's see the flow to about 50 as well to see how it's going to be okay, I'll reduce the flow this is looking good I think <laughs> if the color effect on the skin is too harsh you can always reduce the opacity okay so you can take it down to see 
how it looks and adjust it to well. Is looking good, I guess. Okay, so I guess this is okay at 80%. So we'll see how it goes. So the next thing we want to do is we want to give the lips a color. So we'll go ahead and pick another solid color layer, okay, and just choose any color we want for the lipstick. Okay, so we choose that color, say we we'll the blending mode to color and then we we'll inverse it make sure the layer mask is the mask that is selected and you just click to my eye on your keyboard to inverse it then you take your brush make sure your foreground color is white then you go ahead and paint on the lips just like so Can increase the opacity and the flow to get that will make life easier. And if there are still some white patches here on the skin, you can always adjust it, you can always go back to the so let me name this one skin. And then this one lips for easy recognition. For easy recognition, okay. So we we'll go back to the skin layer. Make sure our mask is active. Then we go ahead and paint on the areas that need adjustment. To make it perfect. Oh, our picture is coming to life <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is we want to give the picture here a shadow color okay so we'll go ahead and select another soft color layer and then we we'll choose whatever eyeshadow color we want and we can always adjust this color layer okay but just for a start let's choose uh, let's choose this color okay, okay. we'll go ahead and change the blending mode to color and we we'll inverse it come on eye we make sure our layer mask is active our brush is white then we we'll go ahead and paint on the eye area that we want the color to be okay and don't forget we can always adjust this color later if we don't like how it looks okay i'm sorry i'm not to that being makeup just please manage my eyeshadow color so i think it, this would be good so we might want to give this down part a um, kind of funky color i know I see people's makeup. This I don't know what it's called. This part is like always white, and it always looks cool to me. So let's go ahead and give this little bit more than that white color. I'm sorry, I don't know what it's called. So we'll go ahead and choose white, and then we'll go ahead and choose color. Change the blending mode to color. Inverse it. Command I. Take our brush, make sure our proper color is white, then we paint on it. So if you don't know how to do makeup like me, you can always use this trick to give yourself a lot of makeup. Okay? <laughs> ah, this looks good. It's 
person is for the eye shadow I'll just remove the eye shadow and this one is I don't know what it's called I'll just say eye too I don't know what that part is called actually then we'll give the clothes uh, a color okay so just go ahead and choose another solid color layer and choose whatever clothes you want you can always change the color layer you do that as well so just use this one for now and then change the blending mode to color inverse it make sure your layer mask here is active and click on my eye make sure your brush foreground color is white then you can go ahead and increase your brush size so using the keyboard the foot bracket and then you paint on the foot And if you make any mistake, like painting on the skin, you can always click X and just use it. Okay, I think this looks good. So our model is looking different from what we used to have. So we can go ahead and change the colors if we want to. Go ahead and name this layer float. Okay. Then we can now decide to change the colors the way we like it. Okay, so let's start with the float. Just click on the color here. And then you can now decide to change it to any color you like just like this. Okay. And you can always reduce the opacity as well in case you don't like the shape i think this is okay let's change to this one then we'll go to the eye too i think the eye too is okay the eye shadow you can always reduce the opacity of the eye shadow if that's too much if you that's too bright you can just take it down okay or you can want it to and you can always change the color as well okay you can always make it any color you like. Ah, I think this looks nice. I like this one. <laughs> so let's choose this one. This one. Okay, then we can change the lips as well to whatever color we like. Is this okay? Then you can go as well and change the skin color in case you want to turn yourself into Shrek or Trolls or um, Smurfs. I think this color will be Smurfs or Trolls or whatever. You can do that. You can make yourself any color. Okay. So I think this looks good. I mean, you can just go ahead and put all the effects into one. Alt, Alt Command and click on all the effects layers. And click Command G or Control G on my keyboard. Now I realize I don't even need this other layer. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so now we can just take the effect of and switch it back on just like that and there we have it so that is it you've been able to give this picture here a lot of color okay so you can do this with any picture any image just make sure you like the result okay so thank you so much for watching and please if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up Drop a comment and subscribe to my channel for amazing tutorials. Thank you so much. You have a good day. Bye for now.